Good evening everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. For those of you who've not uh, seen my channel before, my name's Simon. Uh, this is my kitchen table and the reason why we film here is because this is exactly where I work on my quadcopters and the kind of the premise is that you don't need a, uh, an amazing workshop and, a, and a, uh, loads of electronic equipment and years of experience to be able to get into flying quadcopters tinkering with those quadcopters, getting some fantastic aerial photography, first person view, all that kind of stuff. It can be done on a kitchen table by somebody like you and like me. So that's uh, that's why we're back at the kitchen table. Uh, the other tradition on this channel is that, especially when I'm recording my videos in, late in the evening, I like to share with you my, my, my beverage of choice, which this evening is Jameson's Irish whiskey. So before we go any further, cheers. Mm. Very good. Now, this evening is a pretty special one for me and the channel because I have a world exclusive. Um, and it's not often you get to say that, even on YouTube. Um, so yeah, a world exclusive look at a very, very freshly launched product from Flytrex. And this bottle is just disguising the fact that bolted to my friendly vision, which is belly up on the table, is this box. As you can see, it's on the Rotopixel gimbal. It's just fixed with a sticky pad there, just on the top of the gimbal controller cover, and it's sitting there very nicely. You might just be able to see, uh, where are we going? Let's see Flytrex mm, embossed there. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the new Flytrex Live. Now, I've had a pre-production model for a few weeks um, and have been doing some kind of heavy-duty testing for the Flytrex guys. Um, and they've kindly allowed me to, um, to show you around the new Flytrex Live. Um, this is, a, as I said, a pre-production um, model, but the production model is, is identical in performance and almost identical in looks. Um, there's a few more sort of neater seams and, uh, and there might be a few sort of tweaks to the packaging and everything, but this is what it's going to look like. So what's Flytrex Live? Flytrex are well known for producing the Flytrex Core, and that's a little little circuit board that you mount uh, in between your aircraft's GPS and the flight controller, and it kind of just listens into the GPS data, and it logs it to an SD card. So at the end of your flight, you take the SD card, you download it onto your computer and send it up to the Flytrex server. They will crunch those numbers and turn it into a really nice overlay onto a Google map. You can then use it as a logbook. You can see how far, how fast you flew, all those good stuff. You can then even convert that to a KML file and view it 3D in Google Earth. Brilliant. Really like those. I had an original core and a core 2, uh, which is very tiny. Um, and I kind of use those on my aircraft and I log every flight. I don't publish everyone publicly, but I log every flight. It's a great way of keeping track of hours flown, all sorts of stuff, how fast you were going, how far you got. If you're range testing, if you've got some new antennas, Flytrex Core, perfect thing for that. This is not, this isn't a, a sort of replacement for the Core 2 or, a, or an upgrade. This is a completely new product which uses some of the Flytrex Core fundamentals and then marries it to a totally different technology to give a well a, a pretty amazing package for the size and the weight this is 34 grams and what this will do is in the same way you mount it between the gps and the flight controller and it logs the gps data it has onboard barometric and temperature sensors so it, it monitors those as well um but there's no sd card slot and there's a USB, which is not really used in everyday uh, operation. Uh, but here is a little card, but it's not an SD card, it's a SIM card. Because what Flytrex Live does is it logs your flight in real time and then over mobile data network it will send your live flight information to the Flytrex servers in real time. So this means that you could for example have another device, a tablet that's, uh, or, a, or a phone and you can watch 
your flight progress. You could see a readout of things like the voltage on your battery. You could see a readout of your uh, speed. Things that if you've got an aircraft without an on-screen display or you have a, uh, uh, an on-screen display that doesn't show some of that information, you can, you can use. Now there's going to be a bit of a lag, obviously. I wouldn't recommend you use it as your only kind of source, but that's pretty cool. And as you're flying, it's uploading this effectively into the cloud and your flight is being logged. No need to have an SD card, no need to you know, press stop or go or, or do anything. Without thinking about it, every flight that you do is tracked live and that data is sent to the servers. Now you can choose to um, publish uh, the results of that or not as with the existing Flytrex. So there's, there's, there's no privacy issues. You can choose to keep everything private. But what's very interesting and, and what this new, new development allows you to do is of course, because the data is being transmitted live, you can actually watch the progress of a flight live or you can watch the progress of my flight live as an overlay with all that telemetry from anywhere in the world. So, for example, if you've got two people with these and they both decide they're going to have a race, they could say, well, you know, look at our live uh, pages side by side and you can track them in real time. What I think most people will be excited to use this live tracking technology for, though, is for keeping um, an always on view of where your aircraft is. A lot of people are concerned about losing their aircraft because it either suffers some sort of mechanical failure, you're flying beyond line of sight, you're in difficult terrain, and you you know you have a some sort of mishap and you lose it. It disappears from view. How do you know where it is and how can you go and retrieve it? And a lot of people for those purposes use a standalone GPS tracking device, which they mount onto the aircraft. It has its own battery pack, it has its own GPS receiver, and it has its own SIM card as well and then if you do lose your aircraft you can send a, a text message or you can ring the number in the sim of the gps unit and it will then text you back or somehow deliver to you its current coordinates fantastic really good they tend to come as a weight penalty and they tend to have things that you have to remember to do like charge them up and so on and so forth what the live does is basically do away with the separate GPS receiver and because it's piggybacking on the aircraft's GPS there's no need for this to have a built-in GPS receiver it's using the one on the aircraft and it's constantly sending the data the raw data before it hits the flight controller before it hits an on-screen display the raw GPS data it's sending it via sim card over mobile data to the Flytrix servers what this means for you is if you do suffer, uh, your aircraft disappears and you don't know where it is, you can look at your uh, tracking on the Flytrix website and see in real time where your aircraft is reporting its position. Now that is pretty amazing. It's something that weighs under 40 grams. Um, compared to some of the other kind of weight penalties, that's just fantastic. So that's the premise of Flytrix Live. Let's have a look at the uh, a look at it in a bit more detail, how we install it and, and how it actually works. Okay, so now we're gonna have a bit of a close-up look as to how you install the Flytrex Live. Um, it's similar to the existing core in terms of the connections internally, but there is one little extra bit that you'll need to do but don't worry about that, we'll come across that in a minute. First thing you need to do is take the lid off uh, your aircraft. If you've not taken the top off a Phantom Vision, a Vision Plus, a Phantom 2, a Phantom 1, then um, I made a video showing you what tools you'll need and how to do it. It's fairly straightforward as long as you've got the right tools. If you'd like to watch that, it's over here. Otherwise, you need to just open the lid. So let's do that now carefully and we'll have a look what we can see. Let's just balance that there. Okay, so this is an installed Flytrex Live and this is the splitter cable. So in the normal um, in the normal Phantom range the 
cable comes down from the GPS unit and plugs into the main board here. And then what you do is you get a special Y cable. You plug the GPS in one end, you plug the relevant end into the board, and these two wires disappear down one of the handy holes and they come out and plug into your live because that's where the data feed comes through. The only other thing that you need to worry about, and it's not really a worry, is you need to plug the live in to a power supply because, you know, as I said, one of the benefits of it is it's always on. And to be always on, it needs to hook itself up to the uh, your aircraft's power supply. And so what I've done here, you can see there's another coming out the same hole, a red and a black cable here. Those are the power leads. They come pre-tinned, so you will need to do some soldering. But don't worry, I am the world's least proficient solderer. And what I did was I took the phantom uh, power inputs here from the battery and I simply got a soldering iron, warmed it up, put the pre-tinned leads on top of this big bead of solder, held it there for a few seconds, took it away, gave it a blow, it was done. It's really not a high quality solder, it's not neat, but the important thing is it's kind of on. And even if it's not on very securely and this connection here uh, fails under vibration and after a while, it's not flight critical. Nothing will happen to your aircraft. You notice that your Flytrex live has stopped working. You pop the lid, you resolder it. I didn't have to melt this big bead. Um, I didn't have to, you know, mess with the power wires and, and sort of have to resolder. It was a very light equivalent of tacking on in welding. Like I said, those solders won't win any beauty contest, but it doesn't matter. It was simple. I haven't disturbed the quality of the of the solder for the main power board and I've just sat those on the top and melted it sufficiently to just stick them on and so far it's been great and those of you who follow the channel regularly will know that this particular aircraft took a tumble 90 feet down a tree um, they're still connected as was the Flytrix line so it's fairly robust so that is how you install it um, it's it is straightforward you will need to do a spot of soldering if you're worried about it, find someone who's competent. But to be honest, just have a go. As I said, you know, unless you have a monster soldering iron, you're gonna have a job melting the whole kind of solder bead that's already on there. Just tack it onto the top. Once you've done that, pop the shell back on, you're good to go. So here is Flytrex live. So this is exactly happening now. I've taken the aircraft and I've stuck it in my back garden switched it on and this is what you can see uh, if you were to log on to my Flytrex live page now any of you from anywhere in the world including myself can see this um, so what you've got here is a readout the time elapsed since the uh, data stream started how far you've traveled that was me walking into the middle of the garden and any distance now is causing just caused by the GPS drift how far away you are from home what your current speed is what your current height is in relation to your home point, what your current voltage is, and the number of satellites you can see. And if it says 3D, that means you have enough to get yourself a uh, a, a good a good hold. And I've just overlaid it onto a Google Earth satellite view here. You can just change to a map view. And there it is. And if we zoom in, now it's pitch dark outside, you can see, and these kind of wavers are caused by the GPS signal just drifting, as it will do for all GPS receivers. But you've got your home point and where I currently am, as you can see, the GPS is, it's very close to the house, so I'm not getting a, 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 an amazing lock. And you can see it's wavering between six and seven satellites, which is why the accuracy is down. But that gives you an idea of what you would see if you were following me flying. You would see that little red dot moving in real time which is amazing and um, yeah more about this and maybe some of you watching me fly live in a little while and here's a very powerful um, view of the how you could use this as a, as a GPS tracking device my aircraft's gone down uh, I don't know where it is uh, I can go to a page on the website and I can see my last location latitude longitude the time, that's GMT, so you need to add plus or minus your time zone. It was last seen and where, and a, and a map. Which means that, you know, 
Uh, and if your phantom's gone down or in a tree, like mine did the other week and is still getting a signal um, from its GPS, this will keep going with the live data. So you always know exactly where your last uh, GPS signal was, was sent from. Um, now, what Flytrix are, are going to be releasing very soon is a, a mobile app um, which will enable you to access the where is my Flytrix live uh, and other key data right on your handset. No need to have a laptop or a or a web browser device. It can be done on a mobile app, which means you can link it straight into your live data and be able to use this to um, to to do, you know give you the coordinates and a Google map uh, so you can navigate straight to where your aircraft might have gone down. Um, which, as I say, compared to the, the weight saving on some of the standalone, never never mind the um, you know the fact that you've got to they run on separate battery packs. You've got to remember to charge them. The Flytrex, you don't really have to worry about that. Once you've put that SIM card in and set up your system, it's kind of fit and forget because whenever you turn the aircraft on, the live will turn on. So. Um, down in the description down there, if you're watching this on mobile or in, in an app or a uh, TV or whatever, I strongly suggest you, you go onto the, um, the the full YouTube and have a look at the full description. I'll put the links direct to the Flytrix site. Um, for the UK users, if you're interested, I'll put links to GifGaf and their SIM deal that I got that I know works with it. Um, and I will, I'm, I'm, do you know what I'm toying with the idea of doing guys? And I want some feedback on this. If I give people a bit of notice and a time when I'm gonna be flying my vision with the Flytrex Live, how about we do a mass kind of, let's all watch Simon fly his vision in a bit of a kind of haphazard way around a field on the internet in real time. If that's something that you think we should do, Drop a comment, drop me an email or whatever. But I'm I'm seriously considering. I'll have a word with Flytrex and make sure they <laughs> they assure me they have some very robust servers. But you never know. So what I might do is uh, I might publish a, a day and a time over the next seven eight days or so when I'll be flying. And if you want to watch my progress live and see what an actual flight data coming at you in real time looks like, then we'll 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 do that maybe. So let me know. And I'll speak to the Flytrix guys, just make sure they're not currently, you know, choking while they're reading this and thinking, what's he said? But I'm pretty sure they, they seemed very, very confident in the uh, in the infrastructure they've got. We might do that. So, yep, yeah, lots of detail, description down there, um, including links for you. Go and have a look at this. Um, as I say, I've, I've, I've been testing it and I've been trying to break it and I failed you know the fall down the tree wasn't deliberately but it's it's survived in you know, unscathed it doesn't affect my aircraft performance it weighs very little and i've been very impressed um they've thought a lot about this even the fact that you know if it needs a firmware update it's all handled over the, the 3g connection you don't need to plug in you just boot it brilliant really well thought through from the guys who brought you the, the, the original core so there we go flytrix live um, let me know what you think. Let them know what uh, what you think. Um, but it's uh, it's got to be a thumbs up and a recommendation from me. Thank you very much for watching. Um, thanks for your attention on that, and we'll see you next time here on the kitchen table. Bye.